do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS2 tutorial today, and I'm very excited to talk about this new homebrew project called Fun Tuna. Fun Tuna, the free McBoot for Fortuna. Essentially, it's like a way for you to run free McBoot on your PS2 Slim models that cannot run free McBoot in the first place. So in my example, I have a SCPH. 900 or 9001 model, it cannot run free McBoot, but I can run Fortuna. So this is a very similar method where basically you see the orb, you exit out two times, and then instead of running into or loading into you launch elf, it actually loads into a free McBoot. And then from there you can create shortcuts and have access to all your favorite apps and you're good to go. So you want to read more about this, I'll definitely have a link in the video description where you can learn more about Fortuna. And we're gonna go over a little bit of the steps here, which I'll get to in a second and some warnings and things like that. At the time of this video recording, I am very proud to say that this is the very first Fun Tuna PS2 video made in English. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more Fun Tuna videos in the future from other people too, spread the word, but I'm very excited to be the first to showcase this. All right, so how do you install this? Essentially what happens is, and you can read all this good stuff up here too, is when you download the RAR file, there's gonna be something called a PSU file. And we're gonna be basically copying this to a USB thumb drive, and then you need a way to boot your PS2 to copy files to your memory card. So in um, past video tutorials, we could do this using free DVD boot. So I'll have a link in the video description if you're not familiar with that method. But basically it's a way for you to load you launch elf using free dvd boot like a disc that you burned assuming that your ps2 is compatible or maybe you have a mod chip so you can boot a you launch alpha disc or maybe you have a method where you have a modded ps2 already and you have a way to run for tuna project so i can't go into all those details because there's a lot of different ways of doing it so to make it real simple here we'll just assume that you have a way a method to copy psu files um, and access your memory card. So that'll probably make more sense when I get into the actual video tutorial later. So you have this PSU file, right? And then we're gonna copy it to the mass drive. And then from there, we're gonna copy it to the memory card using something called PSU uh, paste. And I'll showcase this in the video tutorial a little bit later. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any Fortuna files or Fortuna project folders on your memory card. It has to be MC0, so that's important, right? And then when you uh, reboot your console, you can go into the memory card, you see the orb or the ball, go back uh, two times and free McBoot will execute, which is explained down here. So if you have um, a mod chip or no mod chip, you can also read these instructions here, pretty simple. And then here's some more instructions if you wanna copy from one memory card to another. I won't go through all of this today, but it's real simple here. And what's cool is when you have the boot folder, all your apps are inside the folder and your, your um, timestamp is also maintained to this future timestamp of basically 2099. So there's no reason for you to, or there's no way for you to really screw it up uh, as easily when compared to the Fortuna project. Now the warning, um, I do wanna say that this is just for the slim PS2 consoles. It's not for the fat PS2. If you use it on the fat PS2, it's not gonna work, or it could really mess up your saved data. So basically, slim users, you're good to go. And it's even more helpful if you have a slim console that can't run free McBoot, this is awesome. And then the credits, you got your usual credits here. And in fact, I am proud to announce that I was part of the beta testing team. So we have worked out the bugs um, ahead of time so you guys can have a great uh, release here. And I'm sure there's gonna be more updates in the future as time goes on. And here's a link where you can download the Fun Tuna free McBoot. All right, so what we're gonna do now, and I know that was a pretty long explanation, but I wanna get all that background information out of the way, is I have the, the file downloaded here on my desktop. It's a RAR file, so I'm gonna extract it to its own folder using uh, 7-zip. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So inside this folder is a bunch of stuff here. So documentation, graphics, source code, if you're interested, you launch elf, and it's Funtuna. So first thing is, I'm gonna go to my PS2 thumb drive I have on my, um, connected to my computer here. And let me just delete some old files here. So I'm gonna delete the old Funtuna and put this new one on, right? So if I go back to this folder here, okay. So first I'm gonna copy over the Funtuna PSU. So copy it over to your USB thumb drive, make sure it's formatted as FAT32. 
And then the next thing you should probably do, just in case so you don't mess anything up, is copy over this working you launch elf. We do this, and it's explained in the README file too. We do this because it makes sure that your timestamp is uh, correct when you copy over the file to your memory card. You only need, it, you only need it for that one time. When you add new apps into your boot folder in the future, you don't have to use this working you launch elf. You can use whatever version that you like. And just for reference, if you go into documentation, everything that we talked about today on the website is also here in your RAR file. So you, ha you do have the local instructions as well and you're good to go. Okay, so, we, so in a nutshell, we copied over the PSU file. I also copied over the .l file to my USB thumb drive. I'm going to go ahead here, eject my USB thumb drive. And then I'll see you in the next portion of the video tutorial where basically I'm gonna show you the setup of how I'm gonna copy it over to my memory card, show you the exploit method that I'm using, and then uh, just go from there. So with that said, let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So what I have here is my PS2 Slim. It's a 9001 model. It's not compatible with Free McBoot. It is compatible with Fortuna Project, and it is also compatible with Free DVD Boot. So here's my Free DVD Boot disc, but due to my laser, um, it doesn't read my disc too well, but I do have an older PS2 Slim, the 75001 model, which allowed me to boot this free DVD boot so I can install Fortuna Project to my memory card as an example. So if I go to my browser, I have two memory cards. I have my Fortuna memory card on the left, and I have my regular memory card on the right that has uh, Fortuna Project. So let me give you a sneak peek preview of what the future could look like. So this is Fontuna. If I go into it, I have the orb, the ball. I exit out one time, one more time. And if you have Fortuna Project, this is where it takes you into you launch Elf. Here instead, it takes you into Free McBoot. And I actually modified this on my own as part of my experimentation. And I actually added some more apps in addition to the default apps. So here we see Fontuna, that's awesome. Free McBoot version 1.8 for Fortuna. So the default apps that you get is Ulaunch Elf, ESR, Open PS2 Loader, and Simple Media System. And then what I added for fun on the side was NES, SNES, and Cheat Device, right? So I'll probably have a video tutorial in the future on how you can add those additional apps, but I don't want to make that the focus of today's video. The focus is how do you install Funtuna? So what I'm going to do first is let's go ahead and reboot the PS2. So reboot the PS2, we're gonna go back to the memory browser screen and I'm gonna launch a Fortuna Project. And if you don't know what Fortuna Project is or how to install it, go to the PS2 playlist. I got a lot of videos on how to make that work because that's not the focus of today's video. The focus is Fortuna. So we go into my second memory card here and um, this orb right here, the ball, is actually my Fortuna Project. So I'm gonna go ahead, go back two times here and it's gonna automatically load into Ulaunch Elf. From Ulaunch Elf, we're gonna to navigate to my mask drive. So I go to file browser, go to mask, press circle, and then here we see we have the two files, the working Ulaunch Elf, and we have the Funtuna. So let's go ahead and run the working uh, ULE. This will make sure that when we copy over the PSU file to the memory card, it has uh, the correct timestamp and the correct file attributes when you do that copy. So now we go to, let me go ahead and delete everything in my memory card. So I'm gonna say X and X, R1, and delete. Mark files delete, yes. Um, you don't have to do this, but I am. I wanna make sure I have a clean memory card. You can have save game files here. Just make sure you delete the Fortuna folder if you have one existing already. Okay, so we're gonna go to my mask drive here. We, are, we already ran the Ulaunch Elf, the working Ulaunch Elf. So now what we're gonna do is go down to your Fontuna R2.psu, press R1, and then go to copy. So let me say copy. We have the green dot. I think that's new, uh, possibly for this Ulaunch Elf, but nonetheless, we're gonna go to MC0, R1, and go to PSU paste. This is important. Don't make the mistake where I said paste uh, a long time ago. It doesn't work uh, properly that way. So do PSU paste. So I'll say circle or okay. And basically it's copying over a boot, a boot folder that has all the apps inside it. So that's pretty cool. And then um, one quick note, I do want to say that if you do want to add new apps into the boot folder, like let's say you want to add an NES emulator, you can certainly do that. And then when you go into the free McBoot um, reconfigurator program, make sure you save the 
configuration file to your MC0. So I'll do that at the end of this video to give you an idea of what, what I'm talking about. Okay, so everything is good here. So if you wanna go ahead and run a file, let's go ahead and run open PS2 loader, for example. So I'm gonna run that guy. So this is an older version of OPL. If you wish to use a newer version, you by all means you can do that. Um, but I'll have a video tutorial in the future of how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and say exit because I wanna go back to the memory card and uh, go back. So I'll go into the memory card and then go back. It's gonna take me back to Funtuna. Okay, cool. So it's loading. And this will be the last portion of the video tutorial here. So if you want to add new apps in the future, basically what you can do is copy whatever apps that you want into the boot folder. Afterwards, go into the free McBoot configurator, okay? And then what you want to do next is go down, I'm gonna press circle here, go into configure OSD sys options. And then over here, find an empty spot, give it a name. So let's say you have something called NES, right? For example, dot, 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 dot. The path, I like to use a square, navigate to your boot folder. Let's say you had an NES elf file or whatever it's gonna be called. You select that file and then you have it mapped, right? And then um, what, you, what you're gonna do next here is, uh, let me just map something. I, I don't have to map it. So go return and go to return. So assume you map the path already. And then here, save CNF to MC0. So you save it, we're good to go. That makes sure that your timestamp isn't screwed up and it just, you know, life is simpler basically. So now I return to Funtuna. If I had an NES ELF file, which I don't right now, but if I did, then that NES entry would show on this main screen. If you have a valid path, your shortcuts will show up. If you don't have a valid path or it's trying to search for a file and you don't have it, it won't show on this home screen basically. So that is Funtuna. It's a free McBoot version 1.8 for Fortuna. It's an awesome project. And um, if you get a chance, by all means, check it out. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, a lot of good times. And that's pretty much it. So you guys have any nitpicky questions on today's YouTube video tutorial, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.